So guitar is so much different than anything else. Um, it's based on your nails, your right hand, <laughs> a ton of timing. The timing is so radically different than anything else. And these techniques, just with your right hand, uh, this technique, which is called raciado, um, takes so much time. As a blues pit player, you play with a pick, and going from that to a flamenco guitar with a cypress top, which is very percussive and loud. It's got tap plates, so it protects the wood when you tap, which tapping is part of the rhythm. Um, you know, like Gypsy Kings or whatever, and they do rumbas, which, you know, I'll demonstrate in a second, but it's it's one of my favorite guitar styles. I have Mediterranean blood in, in me, half Spaniard, uh, in case you haven't noticed. Even my nails are not long enough, and I can't grow them long enough. Most flamenco players have a real strong thumb. A lot of them use um, tips, you know, they go to the nail salon, but I can't do that because of my job, <laughs> and I'm not a professional guitar player. But I do it for fun, and it's, it's great. Um, It doesn't sound the same with your thumb, with the, the, the skin of your thumb. It, it's much better when you have a, a nail to go there. And uh, But this part is okay, but it's just I don't have the thumb. And uh, some guys, you know, put a fake one on and they have to play and then they take it off. But um, it's a lifelong journey. Any guitar really is. But it's amazing when you see a rock player you know, try to play flamenco guitar because oftentimes they find it very difficult. And it's all it's all this stuff. It's all the right hand stuff and it's all the weird signature. The the time signatures are crazy. And not necessarily with the rumba, but the um uh, the tango and um, some of the other Savianos and uh 
uh, are just incredibly difficult. And you're playing with a dancer, that's the main focus of a flamenco guitarist, is, is to be in tune on the same vibration as a dancer, and you're calling the shots on some of the traditional songs. So you have to be in perfect time. But for me, it's just that I enjoy it, and I enjoy the Mediterranean sound and the Spanish sound and the Arabic sound. It's, it's all very tied in together. But um, even a stupid thing like this, the up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. I mean, I had to practice that for so long. And I mean, I've been playing guitar for 25 years. And when I was trying to do that, I would sit there when I was driving on my on my, on my, my steering wheel and go up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. And it's the thumb and then these two fingers and then the thumb down, up, down, down, up, down. Let alone that. Flamenco guitar players are very uh, snobby, you know, especially the ones that have trained in Spain, but I've never been, and uh, and they they really are uh, technical. And then you know, for me, I play uh, by ear, and and I played with guys that have showed me some of these techniques, and I've just you know learned um, just by practice and by ear. And to me, I don't care about the snobs. It's like, you know, dude, whatever sounds good, sounds good. So anyhow. Um, flamenco guitar I enjoy it I'm gonna start playing it more often I haven't played it in a long time but I just thought I would share that with you so have a good night <laughs>